This is my liquid rocket solution, a cooled solution. It also keeps the uh, radiation levels down. Cooled by an industrial brick. We'll do some rapid launches here. Once the loading is done, it should launch. One of each cargo type on either side. And here's the temperature overlay. The nuclear material is instantly made into uh, a solid and dumped out. Uh, and the only real uh, nuclear leftovers, radioactive leftovers, are uh, down here on the, um, the wash plate. And the line as it goes up. Just as long as you're not launching, like, you know, every two seconds, like I'm doing right now, because it's a stress test, it will uh, keep itself cold. I'm just using brine to uh, to carry the thermal energy away. If used, like, one launch every few cycles, I don't even think you need to cool it down with anything. Just communicate it with uh, uh, a large uh, storage tank. That's it. I have it set up right now that it automatically uh, ejects its carbon dioxide as soon as it lands. The dupe can easily Get in and out, even though it's. Uh, so she has a bathroom in here and everything. And this is the. Uh, this is the setup. Uh, you need the battery on there because it will. It uses more than 60 watts. But if I get her to leave. She'll come out here, she'll leave, she'll go through this, uh, this little moon pool here, and get out. It obviously looks like a penis, because everything to do with rockets looks like a penis, uh, but it's fairly compact. Uh, if you don't want to use each type of um, interface, you can make it even smaller. You can uh, put the Trailblazer module on there and put all of your gases and crap on there, make it even smaller. That's it. Super easy. Don't need to do anything special. There it is.